The other big story we are following this evening, the rise in COVID cases because of the Omicron variant. We have team coverage tonight on the impact it is having here. CBS 4's Austin Carter is looking at longer wait times for test results, but we start tonight with Ashley Dyer in downtown Miami about concerns over New Year's Eve celebrations. Ashley. Well, Jim, the big orange with those awesome sunglasses that we're all used to seeing on the Intercontinental for New Year's will be missing once again for a second year. This time it's because the designer of that orange and his staff tested positive for COVID-19. Now in its place, there will be a countdown to the new year. As we prepare to bring in a new year, the COVID-19 pandemic drags on. It's concerning. We are, you know, taking precautions and we got boosters, so hopefully that should do the trick. Even with a steep climb in cases, people we talk to are looking forward to a new year and planning to celebrate. I think at this point we're all really sick of COVID, right? But um, at least we're not going back into lockdown and we're still able to do the things we want to do. In Fort Lauderdale, the New Year's Eve event near Museum of Discovery and Science will be all outdoors. At Bayfront Park, a concert and fireworks show is all set to go. Organizers say there's been more than 100,000 people at this park in previous years and they're expecting a good turnout. People are, they're educated, they're informed, they can make Make their own decisions and if you're not willing to take that risk then don't come down here across the jackson health system nurses and doctors are caring for 252 covid 19 patients that number more than doubling from this time last week across memorial health care system there are more than 300 positive covid cases it sounds like it's a little bit different than the previous versions of the the virus, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see where it goes, right? People we talk to hoping we'll see relief in 2022 and a slow in the COVID-19 outbreak. 100% sick of COVID. At Bayfront Park, you see the, sta the stage there ready to go. And just beyond the stage, the setup is underway for this event. Organizers are expecting a good turnout. They tell me that they'll have sanitary stations set up throughout the park and masks will be available as well. We're live at Bayfront Park tonight. Ashley Dyer, CBS4 News.